Hey Glam Gang, welcome back to my channel. We've been experimenting. This is a wig from Janota Hair and I'm excited. I'm excited. I have never done a color like this before and, oh, sorry my phone, <laughs> too clouded, no, just, just kidding. I have a selfie shoot. This is the first time I'm like going to a like production set and doing like a selfie shoot because I take all my own pictures and I really want to just perfect sorry this is um. <gasps> say come say hi okay. somebody wants to say hello say hi Pookie. I love you you happy Y'all, look at my baby. Everyone needs a cat. I have like an hour to get ready. <laughs> Bear with me, I'm gonna be moving pretty fast. But yeah, this is the hair. I conditioned it. I put a little bit of purple conditioner just in the front because it was just too for me. And the theme for today's shoot is like 420, but like not. I don't know, I'm doing like my version of 420, so we are doing Marley Jane today. I did put Bedhead. Bedhead, if you don't, I mean, I believe them into sending me free stuff. I did a little bit of sexy hair protect me just all throughout. So yeah, we're ready, we're ready to go. Let's just install it and see like the vibe that we get. But I do have to say, this is becoming my signature with it in the, so, get into the vibes. Hey guys, I have literally 25 minutes to get ready. I'm going to whip through my makeup. Hey guys, so I just had a quick meeting this morning, but I remembered that my the day that I installed this hair was a bit hectic. So I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. Absolutely love this. So pretty. Shout out to Janota Hair for sponsoring this um, video so pretty I'm just gonna make myself a quick lunch and then I'm gonna head downstairs to do some office work this is the devil do not ever smoke this um, <laughs> I have a kind of a very busy day today because I am uh, I want to get um, all my projects situated and then I am launching the 420 relaunching the 420 collection you guys know I took literally like maybe like a month off from like not necessarily vlogging because i have been vlogging a little bit but just getting my shit together i want to like i don't know why i feel the need to wear this hat today but i just want my hair out of my face um i kind of had this moment where i was like i've been in fucking la for a year and I need to ground myself. I need to reassure, reassure myself that I'm fucking in this bitch and it's lit. I'm safe. I'm grounded. I'm humble. I'm grateful before things start to, you know, get crazy again. So kind of had that moment. You guys are going to see um, 
just some clips of me and Tony going out and, you know, just little vibes or whatever. Life is really crazy. It's really crazy how your whole life can transform in like a blink of an eye. Like I was just sitting on my balcony just watching the palm trees and I was just like, how the fuck did I make it here? Like, bitch, <laughs> we are really in the heart of motherfucking Hollywood. Like, how the how the fuck did this happen? And I'm kind of like regrouping and, you know, figuring out what's next and what my next steps are and what exactly I want to do to fulfill my soul. And but before I can not even think about it, but before I can really start implementing the steps, like for real, I've got to not close this chapter, but I've, I've got to let it come full circle. So you guys know I talked about me having my own store, which is coming soon, and I'm really stoked for that. Um, just taking that next step into business with more marketing, more PR, more campaigns, elevating everything because I am a one woman show and it's really fucking hard to do everything yourself. And yes, I, I make a lot of jokes and I don't, you know, I act all, you know, goofy and shit like that. But the way that I have applied myself for the past five years and then really hit it fucking hard during the pandemic was absolutely insane. And I pushed myself into things and ways that I didn't even know I was capable of. And um, my, motiv my motivational speech this morning had something said something like you used to look up at the ceiling and now the ceiling is the floor and now once the ceiling becomes the floor it becomes your new normal like i remember you could literally watch the vlog of me packing up my shit in the fucking hood of fucking annandale virginia packing up my shit and coming to hollywood and like constantly saying to myself like is this really happening like is this really real like is this like can i do this like can i afford this can i will i make like what and then hot topic and then shutter and then spence fucking spencers fucking like all all of these things and all of these milestones that i was able to do and not even taking the time to realize like what like what so, oh, speaking of milestones, I want to show y'all something. So I was set one, but I bought one myself because I always love to just support people who support me. And also, this is so crazy. We we did this interview in my room back in Virginia. So I'm going to fix my top. Um, and my tits are out. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> we did this interview back in my room in Virginia and then it came out while I was uh, visiting in Virginia again. But I did an interview with Alt Press. Um, this is a, it's an alternative magazine and it's just so cool because they highlight alternative people, alternative music people in the scene, in the culture. And it's, it's, just so gnarly to you know be just included like it's so fucking crazy this is dominic fike if you guys watch sephoria sephoria oh my girl if you guys watch euphoria you guys know exactly who this is and it's so funny because he's my least favorite character to have him on the cover and it's one of my favorite shows is really cool so we did an interview i think i'm on page and I think that what really hits home for me is that it's not all about me. It's, well, yeah, the interviews, like, whatever. But showcasing the people who have just been riding hard as fuck for me. And then here's fucking me dressed up as the Joker when I did my Harley Quinn set with my fucking middle fingers up. So I want to, like, cut this out and, like, paste it on a mood board or something. Um... And I'll link it below if you guys want to buy it or you guys just want to read the magazine. But just really fucking cool to be 
you know, the face of alternative makeup because I literally started all of this because I would, I was in it. I was in the mix. I was in the industry as, as a worker. And I realized that not only is there a lack of alternative beauty, everything, but why do they hate black people so much? So, um, that's not funny. I'll just read the top bar. It says, for too long, alternative beauty has failed to recognize the diversity of its community. Glam goth beauty is crucially changing the notion of the conventional face of alternative. And then to have the fucking gang over here, just all black and beautiful is sickening. So thank you to Alternative Press. This is amazing. Um, and then I'll link it up right here. Sorry, because I know guys, I haven't talked to you guys in a while. Um, I was go <laughs> I was Googling myself and I came across a, a Marie Claire article and it was like 18 wears, 18 wears. I cannot fucking talk. 18 ways to wear um, blue eyeshadow. I'm going to pop it right here. You guys are going to be like, what the fuck was she talking about? 18 different ways to wear blue eyeshadow and it showed Glam Goth Beauty. It showed the Lily Monstar palette and one of my favorite fucking diamonds ever, Hellraiser, which is such a fucking like one of my favorite horror, but like for that to be in Marie Claire, when I fucking would go to fucking the grocery store and literally stuff, ooh, maybe I shouldn't say this, but I would steal Marie Claire magazines and cut them up and post them all over my, is insanity. So, Enough humble bragging, but hard work does fucking pay off. And to anyone who is just whatever, whatever it is that you want to do, don't worry about the validation in the beginning, because when it does come, it's going to hit in a way that is just going to make you feel so fucking good. So love y'all. Thank y'all. I love that for you. with a young lady named Kelsey. I'm just waiting to join the interview right now. What's that saying? <laughs> um, the interview is for her school. She goes to the University of Maryland. And yeah, so I figure why not film it? I don't know, hope this isn't weird. My nail also broke. Actually, I could be doing that right now. Hi, I'm good, you know. My time management gets the best of me, but I'm good. <laughs> How I became an entrepreneur? Uh, I became, I always say like I have, I had a call to action. I was a makeup artist and I was just doing gigs and things like that. But then I also 
was transferring to being like a beauty influencer. And um, and when you are an influencer, you kind of just share your life online. So I was going to a makeup gig and made some glitters and people wanted to know how they could buy them, where, how much it was. And I didn't really know anything about entrepreneurship, but that kind of like was my call to action. Like, okay, I have something that people want to buy. I need to just do it and figure it out along the way. So that's kind of... <laughs> I would have to say my market research was from working at because I am in the beauty industry and I worked at Sephora, I worked at Mac, I went to cosmetology school. So I kind of just took all of that and put it into my brand. And when I worked at Sephora before uh, the store opened, we actually like opened a store and we got so much brand training. And then the same thing with Mac too. Like Mac gives you like a two week like training course and I really just and I kept all of those books and I just apply it to my brand. What made me worried? I guess because it well two things, you know, I'm I'm like half businesswoman, half artist. So the business side of me of course is money. Am I going to have enough to re up? Am I going to have enough to sustain? Am I going to have an like the resources and when you first start out you know i think i started my brand with like 300 400 dollars compared to like the amount of money that like takes to like you know getting inventory now it's like four thousand up to like forty thousand and i'm you know a couple years ago i'm thinking like 400 was just like out of reach so you just all the numbers are like, it's confusing. It is confusing. And then the artist side too is, will I put something that people people will like? Will people like this enough to buy it? So it's like two different sides of, you know, the spectrum. Sorry, I feel like that didn't make sense. No. Oh, wow. <laughs> I hope this I can see it. No, I haven't. Maybe a lipstick shade didn't do so as well as I thought that it would. But no, I don't think that I've put out something that people don't like. And that's another thing too with like being half influencer, half entrepreneur is that you can look at what people are buying, what people are interested in. You can see what the market is missing. Even as a consumer, I'm just like, you know, I want a lipstick that's going to last. Like, where can I find one? Oh, I can't find one. I need to make one, you know? So it's like, it's using so many different parts of yourself to like keep the machine going. I think just conquering a new experience, um, doing something that I've never done before, um, seeing how far I can go. Uh, so, oh my God, so many things. How, you know, how much money can I make? Which, you know, kind of sounds bad, but like, you know, I want new clothes. I want new shoes. I want to be, you know, more glamorous. Like, how can I, how far can I fulfill my fantasy? I think that that's what gets me the most excited. And just seeing uh, people wearing my products and feel, feeling confident. I think that that's what touches my heart the most. You know, when I see somebody who doesn't necessarily wear black lipstick or wears, wears red lipstick and they try one of my lipsticks and they love it and they feel confident, I think that that's like the most rewarding thing. Well, when it comes to money, definitely, I mean, credit cards, it's always good to build your credit. Um, it's always good to, I, I use Shopify and right now Shopify has Shopify capital where you can borrow money and pay it off over time, which I think is, I think for a small business owner, even if it's just $2,000 it's something that you don't have it's not like a credit card where it's affecting your credit and all this other stuff like anytime you make a sale it takes a little bit percentage of that sale which i think i think is great um there's also i haven't gotten a business loan because i'm still i the amount of money i want for my business loan is is not enough of what uh the numbers that i'm receiving so using shopify capital credit cards for sure and just saving your money will be the best three resources you can use moments i remember the most i think the most important moment is when i first started and i started off with glitters and the bulk of the shipment came 
and I took a color that I was kind of like iffy about and it was called unicorn blood and it was like purple and pink and it was it was just beautiful and I put it on my lips which I think is like now is so crazy because I'm so much more minimal now and I would never do that now but I put it on my lips and it was kind of just like that spark that I needed that like wow I created this I'm about to sell it like that first moment of like wow this is really happening and I want to say when I made my 1000th sale that also too was kind of like crazy even though it was a few years ago but that was crazy and then like I feel like every monumental thing like when you make your 10,000th sale when you reach $10,000 when you reach your first $100,000 when you reach your you know $300,000 like every like big number is like amazing and i want to say um my first drag con convention too which was it's like you know it's queer and eccentric and having people that i didn't even know think that like they knew i existed coming up to me telling me that they love my brand like just getting out and meeting people meeting people is also very monumental for me um definitely my followers on social media for sure um you know, from a small town, the only like black alternative girl, people didn't really get it. Um, but it was, I was, I would get so excited to post things on social media because people from wherever in America just were like, wow, this is so great. This is so cool. And then in every, in everyday life in my hometown, people were like, okay, that's, that's a little weird. Oh God. <laughs> How would I describe myself? I'm definitely resilient. I'm resilient. Uh, I love solitude, but I'm also very spontaneous. I like to go with the flow. I like a very relaxed environment, but a little bit of chaos is, I feel like is good for the soul. It keeps you on your toes. Um, okay. I don't know, how would I describe myself? Um, Hardworking, fast learner always listening, always observant, you know, I always believe that like I was raised to listen more than I talk and which is funny because I talk, I talk a lot, but when it comes to certain settings and cer certain situations, I like to just sit back and take like, like a sponge. I just take it all in. Um, but yeah, but I love to laugh, love to have fun, but I also, just as fun as I can be, I can also be very serious. Um, yeah, I think that's it. That's a really good answer. Thank wow. you. <laughs> the advice that I would give you, I want you to constantly think about what the market is missing. Yes, it's easy to be trendy. It's easy to do what everybody else is doing. But in terms of longevity, you want something that's going to stand out apart from everyone else, what everyone else is doing. I would also say constant motivational speeches, constantly looking at inspiration, things that will just keep you going stay disciplined it's so crazy because i feel like i'm talking to myself discipline is going to take you so much f further than being motivated because you're not going to be motivated but you've got to be disciplined because once you're in it you've got to keep going um definitely look into getting some good help good help is really really hard to find whether it's just somebody packaging your orders whether it's somebody just answering emails make sure that you know that you are the boss you are the person in control this is your brand do not let somebody come in and try to just take all your hard work and everything you know what you're doing because you started it and I think it's so hard when you're young, especially when you're, you know, gender identifying as a woman, we're so conditioned to take a step back and let other people dictate what we do. Because when you, you don't want to be like mean, you know, I, I find that like, when, when I bring other people in, I'm super nice, I'm super this and because I don't want people to think I'm mean or I'm this and I'm that and then but then at the end of the day, when things aren't getting done, you're like, oh, okay, I need to like, 
I need to be more confident in what I'm saying. So just staying true and staying confident will take you All right. really far. Well, just let me know if you need anything else and good luck to you and stay in school, please. <laughs> well, that's over. Guys, I'm at Tinder Greens. I'm sitting outside. The wind is kind of like crazy right now. Definitely gonna start having like out of office days because everything that I'm doing right now, yes, I could be doing in the office, but why would I do that? So, I'll show you guys what I'm doing too. I'm sorry, I'm talking with my mouth, it was so disgusting. So, we are just reviewing new ads this is the pisces bundle did a cute little campaign shop with um pisces cherub glitter and bad luck charm and then we have a catwoman bundle duh because we stand batman and catwoman so just approving that from my um from my um marketing from my um marketing people Oh, my eyes water you. I actually think I'm gonna go soon because it's so windy. And I ate all my food. I got Miss Rapid Lily. Okay, no. Get your fucking ass up and work. Y'all seen that Kim video? Uh, and I want my vape. Y'all, my vape, long story, long traumatic story short, my vape, my vape gave me an asthma attack. And I haven't had an asthma attack since I was like, what, four or five years old? Cause my, uh, my dad used to smoke in the house. It was basically like from secondhand smoking, um, not to like be dark about it, but yeah, my dad used to smoke in the house and I got asthma that way. And then my dumb ass starts smoking at fucking time. I've been smoking for a really long time, but the, and you guys saw in my last you guys saw in my last vlog just like how manic and like chaotic I was I wasn't sleeping wasn't eating was drinking going out like then flew back home just high stress high stress but for no reason for no reason like I was sitting in my room at my at my parents house back home in Virginia and like all these like feelings and emotions started to come back and I was like wow this is like this is no longer my environment not saying that like at be like at home was bad it wasn't bad but like if you know you know like I used to sit in my room and lose my mind I'm talking like I would go to my room and like just not even be there you know what I mean so to be there like in all of that and then i went out there and you know things i don't know I'm, I'm trying i'm trying to like say shit without like saying it but um yeah so when i came back and i realized that like that like i don't that's not my life anymore that's not my life anymore i'm not that girl anymore and because I, I bought the vape because to stop smoking cigarettes even though I don't smoke that much but I did buy a pack and I wanted to wean myself out off of menthol and nicotine so which is really the nicotine that I'm addicted to anyway when you've been smoking since I'm 30 so 20, 20 years I've been smoking I started smoking cigarettes when I was 10 years old bought that vape and was just puffing that shit like puffing that shit like every three fucking seconds bro like finally went to go see batman sorry i'm ranting went to go see batman in the middle of the theater i feel my chest like caving in like i couldn't breathe it was a mess so i missed basically the whole not the whole batman movie but a good chunk of the batman 
Uh, ooh, excuse me. A good chunk of the Batman movie because I was in the bathroom having a fucking panic attack. And I come out of the bathroom like completely like, actually I wasn't distraught, but I was like, okay. So I, I thought I was having a stroke, right? <laughs> so I called my mom, I'm like, mom, I'm having a stroke. She goes, you're not having a stroke. <laughs> my mom was like, Ev like what, what is going on? But no, she calmed me down and I didn't tell her I was vaping because I didn't want her to like, you know, talk too much but she was just like you know she really she she gave me a check she gave me a reality reality check she was like look you're stressed for what <laughs> you're stressed for what like you're everything is going so good for you right now like just relax like relax like you're not sleeping you don't eat like just relax and I was just like okay you're right you're right mama you're right so I've just been trying to take things one day at a time and that's all you really can do because tomorrow is not promised why am i talking so much anyway but yeah just wanted to like i don't know talk about that because i'm somebody like i need to do something right drinking is one thing i could go without drinking like i've gone a good like six months with no drinking like that's fine but smoking that's literally how I got my name. Like, I need to smoke, like. But not vapes and not cigarettes. Because that shit is just nasty. It's fucking nasty, like. And it's not cute. At all. Okay, well, I'm going back home. to Joe's and got some chicken because I'm about to make a salad and my favorite food Ex get out of the way people who don't like mangoes like are the devil y'all calling me the devil no people who don't like mangoes are the devil mm. the superior fruit Raphael, I'm doing something. He's so nosy. It's ridiculous. Oh my god, so. I'm debating if I should have a quick photo shoot before dinner. We'll selfie shoot. Technically, they are photo shoots. Okay? Just let me have that fantasy. Why do I have an Adam and Eve sponsorship for Instagram? And they sent me the tiniest fucking bikini. Hold on, I'll fucking show it to you. It's so small. Look at this. Look at this. Look, who was wearing this? Who's, whose ass, my ass is gonna go into this? This is... When I tried it on and I realized that this is not even, this is... No, <laughs> I tried it on and I was just like, why would they send me this? And I said, Marley, you beautiful idiot. You pick this out. I, why would I pick this out? So I have to figure out a way to like not get banned off Instagram because I'm already shadow banned already because I post so much lingerie. But I promise there's a method to the madness. There's a reason why. I've been naked is because, well, yeah, it's pretty obvious. I just don't want to say anything because, you know, I don't want to lose my sponsorships, so. Mmm! Mangoes are so good. 
Um, and the deadline is in a couple of days, so I figure I'd just do it now while my makeup's already done. Raphael! Okay, well, I figured this vlog is long enough. Oh my god, you guys want to see my makeup? Look how cute my fucking glam room. Well, it's kind of a mess because I just did my makeup. But look at this new chair that I got. And my computer is all set up. So home office is... Yeah, she's ready. Um, so home office, glam, studio. And then I'm transforming... Don't look at that. It's, it's a mess in here. But I'm transforming this area. Ugh, bear with me. Um... Here's my makeup kit, all like stocked up, ready for me to be on the go. I will show you guys in my next video what I got. Um, and then my new assistant is gonna come and fucking like transform this room. So yeah, look at all, like, oh my God. It's like, I have two identities. Hi, mama. Hi. <laughs> you back up here again. So I hope you guys like this vlog. I know I talked a lot. Hopefully you like it. Um, I'm back. Uh, oh, excuse me. Back to vlogging. Lots of fun things happening in next week's vlog. Um, I have a photo shoot with Lively Ghost. Um, and then I'm going to take you guys with me on a gig. So, well, two gigs actually next week. So that should be really, really fun. I'm excited. Um, but thank you so much for watching this vlog. My tits out. Um, no, what was I saying? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. <laughs> I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I love you guys. It's giving trap Kim Possible. No. Rockstar lashes. Oh, and I I know I just said I end this vlog, but I want to say this. My eyeliners are taking forever because I'm still testing it out. So far, I only really fuck with like five out of the 12 colors that i like received so yeah i'm i'm almost done i tried the orange one today hence like me doing all of this but um it just wasn't giving it wasn't giving so so annoying anyway shout out to Janota here for sponsoring this video and i will see you in my next video everything will be listed below bye i love you